Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mike at Game From Scratch, and today we have a new humble bundle of interest to game developers, and this one is all about RPG Maker. In fact, it's got five different versions of RPG Maker in it. If you're looking at this as not an RPG Maker fan, probably not the bundle for you, as I will explain in just a bit. Also, at the same time, uh, there is a game jam going along beside this. So uh, if you are interested or you already have RPG Maker, you do not need to pick up the bundle to do so. But the more people that buy this bundle, the higher the prizes for that game jam will be. We'll get back to that in just a second. What you see in front of you, this is RPG Maker MV. This is the newest release of RPG Maker that you're getting in this bundle. It is the second from newest release available. Now, RPG Maker updates at a hideously slow pace. So this was first released in 2015, received a couple of updates after that. The newest version that is currently available is 2020, the MZ release. Now, in terms of uh, is MV still viable? Yes. And what are you missing out on? Well, it's basically the same program uh, with some quality of life differences. There's a new particle system using the free effects here, for example. Uh, there is um, uh, improved informant performance, some new tools in here, so for like laying out faces and that kind of stuff. A lot of it can be replicated using plugins. Um, but the other major new feature that you're getting in MZ that you don't have in MV is support for iPads and iOS phones. So it, one of those things, that's going to be the major difference. But if you're more interested in getting uh, MZ, the newest version, you also get a discount in this bundle. So this here, RPG Maker for creating uh, JRPG style games, plus you're getting a ton of DLC content uh, for or, you know, the tile packs and so on. Some of them you can see in action right here. It's pretty straightforward. Basically select things, paint them into the world. The majority of your game's logic is done using the database system. Uh, you can use JavaScript programming language behind the scenes. You can also use it to extend things. That is where the plugins come in, available over here. Plus you have various different other tools such as uh, character generators and so on. Plus there's a number of different plugins available, some of which are in this bundle. So we're going to head on over to the bundle itself. Uh, it is the art RPG Maker Resurgent Software Bundle. Uh, if you do not know how Humble Bundles work, basically it's a collection of stuff organized into tiers. You buy a higher dollar value tier. For example, if I buy this tier, I also get the contents of this tier. Um, it's uh, You decide how your money is allocated between Humble, Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose. And thanks so much if you do to support Game From Scratch. And we're going to just kind of do a quick highlight of the 53 items that are available in this bundle because that is kind of insane. Now, the big ticket item you're going to want is actually in this tier. So what we've got here, uh, this is $35 USD for everything. Uh, but the, the newest version of the software, RPG Maker MV, is actually in this tier, at the $25 tier. Uh, we also have a slightly lower tier, which doesn't make a lot of sense. And then we have the $1 tier, which gets you VX Ace, which is actually... Uh, one version before MV, and, and it's actually still viable as well. So if you just want to work with the, uh, or if you want to get the discount code for MZ, it is also in the $1 tier. It gets you 35% off RPG Maker uh, MZ uh, bought on the Humble Store, I believe. Yeah, so this is on the Humble Store. But all of these DLC items, everything you're seeing here, are redeemed as Steam Keys. Uh, so, uh, the area you're probably most interested in, again, is this guy right here. This is where RPG Maker MV, the tool we just looked at, was here. Uh, but as you can see, there is a ton of different content here. This is one of the ones we're going to come back and look at in just a second, because this is important to show you how the licensing works. It's one of those things you definitely do want to be aware of when it comes to this. Because if you're thinking, hey, I could get these tile packs and use them in Game Maker or Godot or whatever. No, you really can't. You can only use them a lot of the times uh, using Humble. Now, in some cases, you can. Again, it gets a little confusing. I'll show you how that works out. But this is the tier you go for if you want to get uh, RPG Maker MV. And if we go up to the full fat tier, which again, $35 USD, you're getting two really old versions. So two, 2003 obviously came out 2003. This one came out slightly later, I believe, 2007-ish, I think. Um, and then you're getting a number of different content packs. Uh, so you can learn more about them by drilling down on them right there. The way that content packs are installed, this actually gets a little bit irritating. They're loaded in to the DLC folder of the version they are associated with. So what you see here, here is the Ancient Dungeon Pack that we were looking at just a second ago. It installs in the DLC folder of RPG Maker MV. So you're going to look in here. You're going to find a lot of times, mostly it's, again, tile sets like so. Uh, and they automatically load into um, RPG Maker for, for your use. But if you get a pack that's for VX, for example, you'll have to install it on Steam. It'll be in the DLC folder, and then you're going to have to merge that over uh, and so on. So you can use these assets in the various different versions. Just do be aware of the way that uh, the install works. It, it's a manual process to bring them over. Also, they changed the pixel size at one point uh, from 32 by 32 to 48 by 48. So you're going to find uh, some of the older assets don't work so great on some of the newer 
newer stuff. So when you're looking at some of the DLC, some of this DLC could be for an older version. Just know that if it's, so for example, if it's a VX thing, VX Ace, that will install into VX Ace. So you're gonna have to install VX Ace and MV and move the stuff over. Now, what I was talking about earlier about the licensing, uh, that's just one of those things you need to be aware of here as well. Uh, so for example, okay, I'm going through all my content at the wrong time. Uh, this here is the EULA for the Fantasy Music Pack. And you're going to find in this particular case, uh, you can use it. Resources in Classic Fantasy Music Pack are used in game development only. This is an open license to use. Uh, this DLC is not restricted to RPG Maker or any other engines of Degaka. So you can use this basically uh, whatever engine you want. So that's great on this asset. So let's go back to the, uh, this is the ancient uh, dungeon base pack. And in this particular case, you're going to see the terms over here, resources in ancient dungeon base pack are created for use in game development only using the RPG Maker series only. You may not use these materials in other game development software. Unfortunately, you can't find the license terms until you've actually downloaded the DLC yourself using Steam to go into the folder if it even has licensing terms. So again, if you're trying to get and use this stuff for uh, other game engines, I just recommend against it. Basically, all of these assets can be used in all of the various different software, uh, the various different versions that are available here. Uh, legally, no problem at all. And you can uh, distribute it as a game. So you can sell those games commercially, but you have to be using their software. So either Pixel Game Maker, RPG Game Maker, one of the various different five versions that are available here. This is one of those things to be aware of. If you're eyeing the DLC and you want to use it elsewhere, it's not as simple as you'd like it to be. So as I mentioned earlier on, there is also uh, this humble bundle, sorry, this um, game jam going on along with it. Uh, so uh, test the RPG Maker skills in the Indie Game Making Contest Rebirth Contest. Uh, they are looking for creative allies to join them, uh, make the best game you can, including content themes of Rebirth, Rejuve, and Re Resurrection, using any version of RPG Maker by the contest deadline of August the 4th. Um, and then to help them out, a portion of each purchase of RPG Maker Resurgence Bundle will help boost the prize pool. So that's actually kind of cool. Now, another thing you got to be aware of is in the past, uh, when they've done contests, their EULA or their, their terms have been pretty crappy. Basically, if you submitted your game to them, they took the complete rights for it. Uh, that doesn't seem to be the case in this case, so that's definitely nice. So more details of the theme, uh, the rules here. Let's just skip on down to the prizes. So the first prize is $4,000. Plus, so again, more people that buy this humble bundle, the more it's going to push up that prize pool, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, second prize is 2,000 plus. Third prize is 1,000 plus. There's a people's choice and a humble choice at 2,000 and 1,000 plus. And again, these are all going to be bumped up a bit for the more people that buy this bundle. So uh, in terms of the rules and regulations, they are available here. I will link them in the linked article down below as well. Uh, I've done a quick scan through here. The key things are um, you can use the versions from the 2003 version up. Also, interestingly enough, you can use Visual Novel Maker and Pixel Game Maker MV, which are not actually part of the Humble Bundle. Um, I don't see anything in here specifically about... Um, them taking ownership. I actually see something quite the opposite here. You're limited to two submissions. Um, you need to submit an EXE if it doesn't run a missing file. Now, there's also a weird thing about having to email them. Uh, but in terms of the legal requirements specifically, this is the key difference between some of their past stuff and this one. Creators retain all rights to their respective works before they took all your IP rights, which just made it kind of a non-starter for most people. So it's nice to see they seem to have learned from that. Uh, and it makes the bundle and the, um, the game jam so much more approachable. And again, this is a pretty decent prize pool. And it'll be interesting to see what these become um, after you know, the, the humble bundle pumps it up a bit. So uh, it could get to be a quite a lucrative little prize there. Uh, and again, you do not need to buy the bundle to be able to enter into this game jam. And it's not limited 100% to just RPG Maker because you can also use Pixel Game Maker and Visual Novel Maker in this case as well. So that is that, ladies and gentlemen. This is the humble bundle. Again, um, the key software, the, the newest version of the bundle here is the MV release, and it is in this tier right here, the $25 tier. So you really only need to go to this tier if you actually like the content. Um, so if, if these things are of interest to you, uh, that is what you're getting additionally uh, for that tier. It's a bunch of uh, content for the most part, in, in like uh, DLC content in, in 
extensions for uh, mostly MV uh, in this particular case. Also, oddly enough, some very, very old versions of RPG Maker. Uh, I don't know why you would want XP or 2000 and three, but you also get them in the topmost tier. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this, the Game Jam, uh, Humble boosting the price. Well, I actually think that's kind of cool. And what you think of RPG Maker in general. Comments down below. I shall talk to you all later. Goodbye.